Sagittarius, this is your career and money reading for August 2017. Your oracle card is Heart's Desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as you make your dreams a reality. Beautiful, beautiful card to get for your career. Beautiful, beautiful. It's not going to focus. I don't know why I'm still holding it like that, so I'll put it down. Okay, <laughs> so... You have the Four of Swords, which is rest and rejuvenate. And this is about taking time off. Um, the Four of Swords is about resting after a long battle, after really dealing with things, you took a time to rest in the past, okay? And now I see you trying to find someone to help you get something, whether it's career, a new home. For some of you, it's a new home because the Four of wands fell out foundations and achievements it's about you trying to build things for yourself whether it be a home a new career a new business um, getting a car there's something that you're trying to make for yourself or are built for yourself that can carry you a long ways okay because it has to do with foundations you know um, so I feel as though, though you're stepping out, trying to find someone to assist you, to help you, some sort of partnership to move you through. And whatever path that you're going on as far as career or money, um, you're gonna have to use strength to get through it. This is like endurance. This is my endurance card, okay? So this is about you standing up for what you believe in, keep pushing on, keep pushing on, even though you're tired, it's hard, you've been here before, you don't wanna do it again. It's it's about pushing forward now I do want to say that you start off with swords meaning that you've been in a, in a in a mental space of thinking using intellect getting through difficulties healing energy okay and that's what you were doing in the past you're moving towards wands these are all wands these are action cards so you are putting something into action to achieve your desires okay when it comes to your career and with money look at that the emperor just fell out for you sagittarius now the emperor is about solid foundations and that's what you're doing you have you also have this four of wands here you're building foundations you're taking control you are the authority okay um if you're a single person really you really are like the father figure of the home the masculine energy in your home and you are taking you are taking steps to make things happen for yourself for sure for sure okay you have the ten of pentacles lovely queen of swords ten of swords nine of pentacles eight of swords knight of pentacles five of cups two of swords and seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck you have the king of swords now the king of swords is about clear thinking truth he brings truth and clarity this could be someone that is actually helping you as well this could be a gemini libra or aquarius with this air energy now this person is um will be like a lawyer very intellectual thinks a lot okay they give very good advice or they've been through this route of whatever it is that you're asking for help on let's see what's under the deck it looks like they're giving you lots of options when it comes to companies that you can go to um companies that you can go to or places that can offer you assistance or something of that nature so you can get what you need back on track whether it be with a job with money with home something of that nature okay so in the middle of the deck you have the eight of swords and that's you being trapped in your own thoughts maybe not thinking that you won't be able to get out what you need to get out i feel like that's the energy that you are used to being in with the four of swords um spending a lot of time thinking trying to figure out what's going on trying to um decipher old energies that you really don't need to anymore um I, I feel as though maybe if there was some debts or something that you need to pay you were paying them off but now you're you're starting to move forward or 
do more forward thinking. So this is you getting support from your family and your family maybe. Um, but mm, I don't know. I, I take that back for some people. It's a few of you that were getting help from your family. But most of this, most of you, this is just you standing your ground when it comes to your home life. There are things that you needed to do and you did them. That's what I get from this card. And I'm sticking with that as the solid answer for this one, seriously. Because that's exactly what I felt when I pulled that up. If you, um, Because if you had to call your family to get help, then that's what you had to do. But you were doing what you needed to do in order to, to get things to move forward. Okay. This is you living in your truth. Okay. This is you cutting through bull crap, getting organized, being independent, figuring out what you need to do for yourself. You did feel trapped in your own thoughts because you didn't want whatever happened in the past to happen again. And it just felt like, residual energy or debts or things from the past were coming to hit you in the face but you definitely are moving forward from that energy okay you're not letting it hold you back you're moving forward and by doing this and by supporting your household you are very independent doing things on your own um if you got help from your family i just said you got help but they're not like consistently putting everything up for you. You're basically doing everything on your own, making sure that everything happens, okay? But I do see, because you're so used to being by yourself, you're kind of trapped in that energy of, I can do everything by myself, I don't need anybody else. But you need to come up with a new plan to move forward, some sort of routine, and there could be someone else that has a plan or action for you and it may be this uh king of swords okay so i see you a little sad about <laughs> about losing your independence okay and asking some for asking someone for help or um enlisting someone else's help i feel as though you wanted to do this on your own maybe to prove a point to yourself or to someone else okay and i see you not making a move for a minute there okay and that's where this endurance card comes in it's about you standing up for what it is that you're trying to achieve you're trying to achieve something you're trying to go towards something that's what's important it's not being by yourself that is important. It's not doing everything on your own that's important. It's about you moving forward, okay? Being able to, to make the right decisions when it comes to your foundation and not using ego or letting ego go in this situation because you are being supported and guided and protected and sometimes spirit or the powers that be divine energy may need to send you someone for help okay because the seven of the thing about the seven of cups guys is it starts off with lots of different things that you can do lots of different decisions that you can make okay and it slowly develops into illusion and you think that only you have the right answers, okay? Or or all of these are a lie and only this one is real. It could slowly turn into a, an illusionary space. So you have to cut through that energy the best way that you can. And it looks like you may need to go to an agency or get some help or something of that nature for someone to assist you with your goals and your foundations, okay? So don't be afraid of that. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Just click on the link in the description box below. I will see you next month. I love you very much. Love and light.